basically at the end of a Friday afternoon, a lot of learning gets shut down because the kids are so excited about getting to go, not only get the food, but to see the new adults that are in the building or the, the new connections that they've made. They're very excited to get their backpacks to go down and it's just joyful. It's, it's, uh, we do have to manage the halls a little bit because the youngsters would run all the way down there. They want to be there so badly. So it's, it's really cute. It's really fun. A lot of excitement and it's, it's joyful. I guess that's the word that I would use to describe it. They help us by giving us food every Friday and they help by like, they help by giving it to us and so we can, so we don't have to buy as much snacks if we don't have enough money for them. My favorite item in the backpack program is the fig bars because they taste sweet. I, I eat one thing out of there and I save the rest for the weekend and all the other days. We have to take care of their basic physiological needs first. And we do have students here that need to have that done. And they don't move on to higher level thinking skills or learning or pursuing goals or enjoyment or desire of learning unless those needs are met. We are um, meeting the needs of children who are hungry, who may not have something on the weekend for breakfast to eat, and that is gonna help fuel their learning hopefully for the following week. I think it helps meet the needs of food, of families that are food insecure, that it can bridge the gap. I've, I have another story about a grandmother that actually asked to have her grandchildren signed up the parents sometimes work during the weekend, sometimes it's, it's inconsistent schedules, and these are food things that the children can prepare themselves so they're not waiting hours until a parent comes home to feed them and the grandma's not having to do something extra out of her budget to feed the kids. So, I mean, it, it, it really impacts families in a positive way. I know it does, I hear from, from families. They tell me that it does, they're really appreciative. It can be hard for people uh like families who don't have that much money or have a job uh, to get food because they can't afford it. So they, the backpack program can help a little bit with food because, you know, it's that's food in the bags that you bring home. So, yeah. And that's kind of why I like the backpack program. This is a real life civics lesson. Like we can read in a book or talk about community members helping one another. Here we have a situation where a community group came and asked us what a need was. We told them the need and we talked about it and they created this program from scratch that benefits so many families in our little district here. And so it's a true to life community civics lesson of, of neighbor helping neighbor. They're really nice and they like they give their time out to give us the bags and stuff. They take their time to give it out to us and that's really, I'm really thankful for what they do. For the last three years that I know of, JFM has, um, to my knowledge, served 420 students um, and with a nutritional weekly backpack that they can take home on the weekends. You multiply that by 36 weeks of school, which I'm estimating, and the program has been three years, I figured they, they approximately have given the children 9,120 bags of food, nutritional food for the weekends, which is amazing if you think about the volume of it and how many kids that touched. The need is real in Jackson County. Um, people that are in our community know that, they see that, and the church is stepping up and responding, and we're just so grateful for that. Those people do so many things just out of the spirit of kindness, just out of, they came to our fiddle festival, um, they're mentoring our kids. So, you know, they're not just talking the talk of their faith, they're walking it. And that's what I recognize as a human being. It's like, that's what you gotta do, you gotta walk your faith. And they really do. But I believe someday, some children will look back and, went, and look and say, hey, this is how you serve people. This is what was done for me. Maybe they will help other people too. It's such a blessing, and I'll try not to cry, but it's such a blessing that you guys in your church are the hands and feet of Christ to our community at school. And we appreciate that so much. The kids appreciate that so much. Um, these kids go home to empty fridges, they just do. And it's, you know, it's heartbreaking. So we're so grateful that, that they're able to fill that gap for them.